Hey, Water Signs, and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not all messages will apply to you, so please take what fits, leave what don't. I will be doing a Cash App reading later, so if that's something that interests you, it's 10 bucks. You get a 15-minute reading um, delivered same day. Uh, check out the details below. I will be doing that today, all day, um, through uh, Cash App. So if that's something that interests you, check out my description box. All right, you guys got flexible to be fair and message in a bottle. So um, this is all about learning to go with the flow, trying not to have to have control at all times in a situation. Um, things are going to balance out and equal out for you. Uh, things are going to, you, do, you could have a message coming in that's going to make it seem like, what the hell, you know, like, but there is some beauty in this message. It's going to bring balance in you. It's also going to ch uh, challenge you as far as um, moving forward. Uh, but by being flexible, you will move forward successfully. So, all right, let's see what your energy is here. Water signs. Oops. Five of wands. There's your challenge. So be flexible. There's a lot of heaviness here. It is doubled, so that energy is very intense. Um, could be a lot of bickering, a lot of arguing in a relationship today, or, um, you know, in general, just a lot of competition, a lot of opinions, uh, and it's putting a lot of weight on your shoulders here, water signs. So let's see who you're dealing with. Ooh, that one went flying out. The three of pentacles. Could be in a third party situation. Could be, um, a lot of competition at work. Let's see what the connection is here. What's the energy of the connection? What are we dealing with for water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what are we dealing with? The Two of Cups in Reverse and the Seven of Swords. Okay, let's get your advice. We'll get some clarifiers on this and see what the hell is going on here. What's the advice? It is the Chariot and the Three of Swords. The outcome. What's our outcome here for water signs? The lovers. Bottom of the deck is the fool. Okay. All right. I'm going to get some clarifiers on this before I go any further. Okay. I have a five of wands here for our water signs. Three of pentacles. Okay, so this is most definitely a triangle here. Um, you could be the one with the triangle, however, water signs. If you're not, it is definitely your person, but it's something that you know about. Okay, Magician at the bottom with the Seven of Swords, not something I like. Somebody's holding back, um, they're being manipulative, they're emotionally mind-fucking somebody, and somebody has enough of it. They're move They're leaving. Um, if you are the one that has a third party, your third party is leaving. If you are the one that is in a third party, you're, you're leaving. You're telling them to kick rocks because you're tired of this constant competition. You're tired of the always, you know, having to wait for this person. You try to be flexible, but flexible to a fault. Um, and this person is just manipulating and taking advantage. Um, they're holding back their emotions. They're not truly giving into this connection. And, you know, with the bottom of your deck being the fool and the seven of swords, you're done. You're tired. You've had enough. Now, this can be vice versa if you're the one that has the third party. So just flip-flop the roles here. But you're ready to leave the sneakiness behind, the lies the deceit, and you're setting out on your own. Single, um, putting the universe, you know, putting the universe in the driver's seat and allowing yourself to go where the wind might take you. The person that you're dealing with, um, they need to make a choice um, and they're not wanting to leave that third party. They're not leaving, wanting to leave the triangle. They're having their cake and eating it too. Um, you've cried a lot of tears over this, a lot of sneakiness, a lot of lying, a lot of betrayal. And once again, tired of the constant uh, 
competition, tired of, you know, the constant fighting over this situation. You're wanting them to pick a path, pick a path and take it. Either pick me or pick them. And you're deciding that you're not giving them that option anymore. You're ready to leave the heartache behind. Once again, you have the protection of the universe with that chariot and you're moving forward, finding a relationship, finding yourself, finding balance within yourself, finding you're no longer giving to this person who's giving you breadcrumbs. You're no longer putting in more than you're getting. You're leaving the heartache behind and you're moving forward with conviction, with power. And by you sending this message, it is empowering you. Um, this is the end of the road with the 10 card. This is the end of being so flexible that things are so unfair. Um, you're not getting out of a relationship what you deserve. By being the third party or, you know, being the person whose person has a third party, um, you're not getting enough nourishment to keep this relationship alive. Um, and as much as it breaks your heart, you're walking away because they had a choice and either didn't make it or they chose the other person and you're left being heartbroken. But you're moving away from this heartbreak. You're moving out of the situation. Um, if you're the one with the third party, your third party is leaving. They're no longer going to be this choice. They are finding their value. They're finding their worth no longer putting up with the manipulation, no longer putting up with the holding back. Um, they're taking control of their life. They're moving forward. They're no longer stuck in this pain. And somebody is seeking uh, seeking justice. This is the end of the wait. It's the end of the road. No longer fighting for this connection. Um, they're either filing for divorce or they are, if you're the third party, they're moving. you're moving on. You know, it's just... There's just a strong triangle here uh, that's not fair to you or you're not being fair to somebody else. Like I said, it can be vice versa. So just put yourself in each other's, you know, what in whatever role you want. But the third party in this situation is leaving. They're no longer, yep, they're making the choice. They are investing in themselves. They are setting out on a new path. They are finding that they deserve this new beginning. They deserve something tangible. They're no longer wanting a relationship where they get it when they get it. You know, like whenever you can squeeze them in, um, you have time for them or this is you. You're no longer um, carrying the burden. You're no longer waiting. Um, you're setting out in search of stability. This was clarifying this. So once again, it doubled the two to the four. This is a strong energy. You're picking a path that's leading you to stability leading you to a happy home love commitment um and by you setting out on your own being single taking that leap of faith putting you know the faith in the world and in the universe and in yourself it's going to bring you to a new place of a new beginning in a relationship that's going to bring you beautiful energy and a fair relationship somebody that's giving as much as you're giving and by you sending this message, by you cutting yourself free, by you picking a path and leaving behind this third party, you, my friends, are finding stability, love, a happy home, a new beginning, and a new opportunity to build something huge, a huge relationship. By putting this toxic relationship down, by breaking free of the devil, by judgment, by hearing the wake-up call, like, hello, I'm not the only option, you're cutting this person away and out of your life. You're moving forward. You're taking charge. You are going where the universe takes you as far as love. And by you setting out on a new path um, with the fool and the single energy, you are going to be so glad you did because you are going to find somebody who's going to love you right, who's going to give you that relationship that you are looking for. It's going to give you the stability, the happy home, the commitment. Um, for some of you, you could be thinking that you were with a twin flame and you weren't. Um, and you're realizing this because this person has one too many people in the mix. Um, and you're realizing that this isn't meant to be. You've cried way too many tears and dealt with too much bullshit to give this person the best of you. And you truly are cutting away from the ickiness of this connection. And you are going to find balance. You're going to find peace. You're going to find joy and a loving commitment that's out there waiting for you. So big change is coming for you, water signs, um, but you're most definitely going to a happier, much happier 
place, relationship, finding yourself, finding a new direction, and finding somebody who deserves the love you have to give. So it's going to be kind of a difficult day, but it's only one day. Um, join me tomorrow, and hopefully the energies um, have changed. Once again, I am doing Cash App readings today, so check the description box below, see how you can get in on that. I hope you have a beautiful day, and God bless.